This is India, a country in South Asia that is famous for its history, food, 12% of my audience, and of course, the successful space program. Indian probes reached both the Moon and Mars, and scientists even plan to send astronauts into orbit in 2022. While NASA and ESA spend billions of dollars on all these fancy missions, people in ISRO know how to save money. Just look at the budget of the Indian Mars orbiter and compare it with the cost of other similar missions. That is why ISRO's high ambitions created another probe that is going to reach the second planet from the Sun in 2024. The probe is called Shukrayan-1 and I hope I pronounced it correctly. Carry on watching this video to find out how this mission can discover potential signs of life, tell us more about why Venus is such a hot place and what happened to it 700 million years ago. Will be very interesting. Venus seems like an enjoyable world, but in reality it is the hottest planet in the solar system with an extremely toxic atmosphere and acid rain. The temperature at the very bottom is 872 degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure is about 95 times the atmospheric pressure at Earth's surface. Only four countries have reached our closest neighbor and currently several of them are still operational. India's plan is to become the fifth country and that's what it will look like. First of all, the probe is intended to launch on either an Indian rocket GSLV MK2 or MK3, but the second one would allow Shukrayan to carry more instruments and fuel. The optimal launch window for reaching Venus will occur in December 2024, but in case something goes wrong, iZero has a backup date in the middle of 2026. It will take roughly 3 or 4 months to reach the planet, so the first images we'll see in April 2025. India's first mission will study the planet for more than 4 years, and the proposed orbit is expected to be around 500 by 60,000 kilometers around Venus. With time, it will lower its orbit to 200 by 600 kilometers, and the polar orbit will be the final one used for observations. And here comes the most interesting part. What is this probe going to study? You see, currently many people either have forgotten that Venus even exists, or they just say that Venus is an alien spaceship. Thus, it's quite easy to ignore the fact that Venus is our closest neighbor, so instead they focus their attention on Mars. However, Earth's twin might have more similarities with our planet than we thought previously. Back in September 2020, astronomers in the United Kingdom announced that they had detected phosphine in clouds of Venus. First of all, what the heck is phosphine? Phosphine is a very toxic gas that has three cute legs made out of hydrogen and it is produced by bacteria. As far as you know, Venus is not a great place for any kind of life. Even heavily protected Soviet landers operated on its surface for less than two hours. Therefore, many scientists have argued that there is no evidence of phosphine in Venus' atmosphere, but Shukrayan could tell us the truth. One of its primary goals will be studying the planet's atmospheric chemistry. This is the list of all scientific instruments carried by Shukrayan, and among them is an instrument suite, capable of observing in infrared and ultraviolet wavelengths. They could detect potential biomarkers in the upper layers of the atmosphere, where conditions aren't that harsh. In contrast with India's previous missions, several other nations such as France, Sweden, Russia and Germany will have their instruments on board the probe. ISRO even adopted the idea of a French astrophysicist to study the Venusian atmosphere using a balloon. It will carry 10 kilograms of instruments and float down to 55 kilometers above the surface. Shukrayan in total would have a science payload of approximately 100 kilograms. Apart from studying the atmosphere, it will be the first mission to map Venus' subsurface. The surface of the planet is mapped only partially, and no country before has tried to deeply explore what lies underneath it. For instance, Shukrayan's radar will have up to four times the resolution of NASA's Magellan orbiter that was launched 30 years ago. It will also penetrate the surface, which could give us answers about Venus' geological history and why its magnetic field is so weak. 
Back in 1967, the Soviet probe Venera 4 found Venus' magnetic field to be much weaker than that of Earth. It was quite surprising, because Venus is similar to Earth in size and was expected to contain an active core. What is more, Venus generates its magnetic field not like our planet, but from the interaction of the solar wind with the planet's ionosphere. And Shukrayan's third goal is to study namely this phenomenon. As you have noticed, India has a lot of plants on this planet, and it's actually pretty amazing since nobody has cared about Venus for almost 30 years. Who knows, maybe soon other agencies will launch their missions to this planet, including satellites, balloons, and even rovers. For instance, NASA has selected two new missions to Venus, and each is expected to launch in the time span of 2028 to 2030. Scientists even say that if a future crewed mission wants to get to Mars, they can fly near Venus and use its gravity to move more quickly. In any case, exploring Venus is very interesting. Isero's mission seems both fascinating and intriguing at the same time. Even though Venus is a completely hellish place, there is a theory which suggests that this planet used to contain liquid water billions of years ago. An article published in 2019 states that Venus may have had habitable conditions for around 3 billion years. There could have been several possible scenarios when Venus was able to maintain stable temperatures between 20 and 50 degrees Celsius. Pretty comfortable temperature, isn't it? However, something really bad happened, and no one knows for sure what happened exactly. If you want me to make a video about the potential habitability of Venus, leave your comment below. For sure, Isero's Shukrayan will give us more information about the evolution of our twin, so maybe we should pay more attention to this mission. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye. Hi there, 